Hi guys, it's me. I'm just showing you how to create one of these really pretty pinwheels um, with your fuse tool. Um, so I have my fuse tool heated up. Um, this is just, uh, I, I want to say, I think this is like a 4x4. Four four. It's just a square, um, a square piece and then I just square piece with two pieces. Um, I got this from Scrapbook um, Protector Page. Um, so it's a little thicker than like a laminated, a laminate sheet or anything like that. Um, so I'm just cutting out some triangles here. Now if you want to get like perfect and everything, you can um, use like a dry erase marker and go ahead and draw your line straight across to each side. And then that'll give you the perfect like diagonal and everything. Um, but I don't care to be that precise. So this is the way I do it. Um, and so then you'll just want to, you have your sheet. Um, I have to close up all the edges on each side. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go along with my fuse tool. And close up all those edges. I just turned on a little bit ago, so I'm kind of trying to go a little slow. Um, just to make sure it gets a good seal. Because this, you do need a really good seal with this. So you have to make sure that you're... See, like, that didn't even seal. So it must not be warm enough. Um, so I might have to leave it sit a little bit longer. Let me try it on this one. Maybe if I go a little slower, put some pressure. Well, that one did get, um, no, that wasn't a good seal either. So I need to let that warm up a little bit longer. But you get the gist. You're making a seal all the way around. Let me try to another row here. to get a pretty good seal on this one, I think. I find that sometimes it's better to um, get like some paper and put underneath it too, so it's kind of like more solid. I'll do that. I'm hoping that this was heated up enough. But, so you'll, you get the gist. You'll want to do the seal all the way around his side. Let me try and do this one again. See if I can. Get that one sealed up for you folks. Alright, yeah. That, that's, that's definitely sealed better. So, it is warming up a little bit. So then what you'll want to do is, once you know those are sealed good, I like to kind of check them. I just put some pressure. See, that one was not sealed good. Um, let me see. This one seems, this one seems like it's feels pretty good. I don't know. I know this one is sealed. No. So, if all that fails and you don't like it, just move up a little bit and try and seal it again. This is my only like real frustration with trying to do this. Um, it's the fuse tool is very like you have to do it just right to use it and make it work good. Um, which can be frustrating for a lot of people that don't use it that much. Like I only use it every once in a while, and this is probably one of the reasons why. 
because I don't have the patience. But I really like making these pinwheels, so I make some time for it. See, that's a better seal on that one. I moved my stuff over here so that I could make this tutorial video and show you guys. So I kind of turn everything off and unplug it and move it all over here. I was hoping that it wasn't going to like get that cold down, but it did. So then what you want to do is you have your triangle. So you'll want to fuse up one side of it. So you'll want to make sure that that's fused up. You want to leave one side open because that's the side that you are going to um, put in your sequence or whatever you want to put in there. Um, I find that like fine glitter tends to, even if you seal it up really good, fall out. So I stray away from actually putting like really fine glitter and stuff in it. Um, just for that fact it kind of scares me and I want it, I want my stuff to stay in there and be good and sealed so that when I gift it to somebody um that they don't have any problems with it because that would be a real pain for them if stuff was like falling out everywhere all over the place so then if you all kind of bring it up here, you have each, all the sides fuse except for one. So then you're going to take the side that you did not fuse. So you can be able to stick your finger in it like that and put some sequins in it or whatever you would like. Um, maybe I'll even put some of these little pineapples and things in it. This is a cute little sequency bag that I got. Um, from pocket letter buddy so if I have two of these I'm going to fuse together real quick so that I can um, just double it up a little bit I'm going to fuse all these edges together and I think it already has a fused edge and if you do have ones that already have like one edge already done then you don't have to fuse it. If you want to fuse it to make it all look the same, you can, but it doesn't really matter. Like this side is fused. This side is fused. This side was, this was the only one that I really needed to do on this one. You want to make sure your edges that you fused are really fused on there good too because you'll end up bending one of them and when you bend it, um, that's where I've seen sometimes that they'll try and open up the fuse that you did. And these are not perfect. I don't make perfect triangles. I don't make perfect squares because it all gets like folded together and like they're a little different. If they're a little different, it makes them look better. Um, so let's see. This is the kind of the fun part where you can put different things in. I'm gonna try and put some of this stuff in. Just, um, this one was a little bigger, that's why I try and kind of want to use this one instead of using the other one that I used. So I fuse a couple of them together. And I have to like pull some of my stuff out. This is like a would be a fun summery one because there's pineapples, there's trees. There's stars. I want to get some of this stuff on the bottom. Um, and it just depends on how much you want to put in there as your preference. Um, remember, you are going to have to bend it. So then you just take that and you put it in there and then you'll fuse this side up. So then this one is definitely all sealed in there. Good. So then you just go on to the next. 
stick some of these in here. Stick some of these in here. And then you just kind of stick it all in there. Make sure you have some room right there to seal it up. Take your fuse. Seal that baby up. So then that piece is all sealed. And then you just do that all the way around. Um, it's actually super easy once you've done it a couple of times. You're like, wow, this is actually really cool. Trust me, you'll want to make a bunch of them. And I just throw stuff in. I really am not like a perfectionist with anything. So I just kind of go with it. Put some of these little sequences in here. Hopefully my seals are good. I didn't really check them. Lucy, I try to check them all. Kind of like to do this to make sure all the sequence is pushed back a little bit. And that looks pretty sealed up. Feels like it. And then I'll have one more. Oh, I'm getting sequins everywhere now. I shouldn't have dumped those out like that, but they were in a little baggy. Kind of a pain in the butt, if you ask me. Of this baggie in here. Kind of dump it in there. How about that? Oh, this one's going to be cute. It's like a little tropical theme. This one will be cute. One to stick with a pocket ring. And kind of watch the sequence to make sure they're not in the way because that can mess things up. So, now that I have kind of just to go like this and shake it around to see how well they're all in there. And then what you want to do is kind of try and if you want to get any sequence in one side. Um, I have my glue gun ready, but I don't have a glue stick in it. Let me grab a glue stick. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Um, I, there is some glue in it, but it's just, just to get another glue stick in there. So then I just put a, gla a dab of um, hot glue down. I bend it over, and I just kind of hold it there for a second and let it stick in place. And I just turn it and I go on to the next one. Let's see. See, I might have filled these too full, and that is can be the bad thing. You kind of have to watch um, and make sure you don't fill them that full because that does kind of hinder things a little bit. So I kind of Hold my finger there, let that glue dry a little bit. And this one is really, everything's all tight in there. All right. And then you just kind of bend it, do that again, bend it over, squish it down a little bit. That one's sticking up quite a bit because of how many were in that one. There was a lot of sequins in that one. So 
So then what I do is I find, a, I use buttons just because I like buttons. I find really cute buttons. And oh, there's actually some glue in there already. Stick a little bit more glue on this and I kind of just stick it on there. Hold that on there for a second. Make sure everything's in place pretty good. And as you can tell, you got your pinwheel. And then what you can do is if you have a straw, which I don't have any straws, so I can't really show you, is you could actually attach it to the straw um, and actually make it spin. So you could always do that. Um, here's just a couple of the other ones that I've made. This one's a bigger one. Like you just, they're super cute. I just want to show you guys that tutorial. Um, so if you do have any questions, please just ask away in the comments. Um, like this if you could, if you if you want to. Um, and also, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have um, more tutorials coming. So if you like this, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.